The Melbourne Airport rail link has finally been cleared for takeoff. The Prime Minister and Premier have agreed on a $10 billion deal to build the line through Sunshine. But it could be another decade before trains to Tullamarine become a reality. State political reporter Andrew Lund. A rare joint appearance for the Premier and Prime Minister as they signed off on plans to build the long-awaited rail link to Melbourne Airport. This is a big deal. And it's an inked deal now between the Victorian and Commonwealth governments. The state and federal governments have each committed $5 billion towards the project, which will run from the city to Sunshine and on to Tullamarine. This is not just about a link to the airport. It unlocks capacity for better and faster regional rail services. Construction is due to start in 2022 and is expected to take nine years, although State Cabinet is assessing a private proposal that promises to have trains running by 2027. Our money's down and I think that means that other proponents and other participants will really, you know, um, get their pencil sharpened now. Key details of the project remain unclear, such as how long the journey to the airport will take, how often trains will run and how much tickets will cost. And there's questions too about the numbers behind another major rail plan. Analysis by the Grattan Institute suggests the $50 billion suburban rail loop may not deliver on a key premise. To the extent that it's about getting people to work uh, more quickly or opening up the city for, for people getting to work, it doesn't seem to be choosing the, the suburbs with the strongest jobs growth. But despite claims other projects may provide better value for money, the Premier is pressing ahead. We'll have uh, Cheltenham to Box Hill underway in 22. Uh, we'll have airport rail link, so the city, sunshine and the airport. That'll be underway by 2022 as well. Andrew Lund, Nine News.